Hey guys, Dan here. Today we're going to take a look at the MTD wheel service kit for Troy built machines built between 2004 and 2005 with that crazy uh, planetary gear system that locks up. It's a real common problem where a customer says, hey, the, my, my wheels are locked. I, I try to use the drive. It doesn't work. So um, let's take a look at it. First thing you notice here, it's a 1G284 on the serial number, so July 28th, 2004. These machines are made between 2004 and 2005, and um, pretty common problem. So let's take a look at the old parts. Here you have uh, some of the gears. I, I took off the axle shaft and the speed shaft, and you can see the gears are really rusted up. Um, the roller bearings are mostly missing, and... Uh, they're just full of rust and uh, bearings just won't roll. So um, here's a, a tin of some of the roller bearings and the clips and stuff. So so let's take a look at the uh, guts here. Um, I took the gears off the right hand side here on the speed shaft and the axle and you can actually notice the impressions of the roller bearings on the axle and the speed shaft. So when you use the machine, it gets a little moisture in there, and then when you stop and shut the machine down and it sits for a couple of weeks, they just rust together. So here's the kit. This, um, this comes complete with all the parts in it. Um, there's probably 15 or 18 separate part numbers, but some of those are uh, clips and washers where there's multiple units. I mean, they give you everything here. They, they give you the uh, speed shaft bearings, the, the, all the gears, the bushings. They give you a brand new axle. They give you uh, um, some lithium grease for the axle. They give you the Aeroshell 22 grease, which is a um, synthetic grease that we use a lot in uh, helicopters and aircraft. It's, it's resistant to water and it's really sticky so it stays on well so um, notice the new gears where they have a, an actual rubber seal on each side of the gear so you fill those things up with the uh, aeroshell 22 when you put the when you put the kit together and um, it's supposed to keep the water out um, give you a whole new friction disc assembly with the rubber I mean that, that piece there is a fifty or sixty dollar piece you see the speed shaft also has a really nice finish on it see that on the right hand side it's really shiny it's just a it's a really nice kit so here are the instructions that come with the kit and um, there's about fifty steps in there and uh, I just read through it because I actually haven't put this kit in myself uh, but I've run across this problem a lot of times, and I, I usually just use the pieces. But uh, the kit's about 75 bucks, which is the same price as just one gear. So if you bought these parts individually, it'd probably be about 400 bucks. So um, going through the instructions here, they're really great. They give you a lot of pictures. They show you how to disassemble everything and then um, how to reassemble everything uh, with all the proper spacers and things like that. It really looks like a, um, a lot of work, but really what I found uh, in doing it, it's really best just to look at the exploded view and then build each um, uh, axle set um, just from the picture. And, and um, it, it's just much simpler that way. Um, there's a couple of washers in there, a couple of spacers, a little bit of grease, and then um, just you know kind of slide everything together so it really was much easier to just build it all by looking at the picture and um, and that's what I did so um, they've got some really good pictures in here and they show you everything step by step three washers in there the key and then um, everything slides together and you put your your clips on so um, every single step is uh, really well documented like I said there's about 50 steps including disassembly and reassembly so uh, this is the machine that I'm actually was doing the work on and um, I'm just gonna take it apart here and uh, uh, I didn't uh, think I was gonna make a video so I, I didn't actually videotape the whole thing when I kinda took everything apart so here you can see the old axle and um, the only thing you really keep from the kit are those plastic spacers that you slide over the axle and if you um, if you look at the axle here you can actually see the um, where the bearings ran on there and kind of rusted together so let's take a look at the uh, at the kit here here are the instructions again 
shows you how to uh, disassemble everything, set it up, take all the old parts out. So here I've assembled the speed shaft with the friction disc and um, the gear on the right hand side and uh, the one next to it and some of the clips on it. There's a washer, spacer washer between the gear and the, the right hand gear and the small gear. And um, I'm just going to set it in here and uh, put it in. And again, I, I went by the, um, the actual picture. Uh, it was much easier to do that than uh, you know try to read it and uh, decipher what they're actually talking about. So um, I've got new speed shaft bearings that came in the kit, and um, I'm going to put one washer on that uh, uh, on the right hand side actually uh, before I um, assemble the uh, speed shaft bearing up against that right hand side. So uh, I think yeah that that's the bearing or the uh, washer right there. So make sure you have it. Um, set up just like the kit goes and then uh, slide your uh, speed shaft bearing on there so once I get everything situated here I'll um, uh, slide the speed shaft bearing on the right hand side there and um, this assembly is a little bit different. They give you a, um, an actual nut on the side of that shaft, which was different than the original shaft. And uh, you just snug that nut up, and that uh, holds it up against the bearing. And then on the left-hand side here, you just have a um, like a C-clip, and that slides in the slot there, and you just uh, slide that down. So that works fine. Once you get everything in there, just check to make sure that shaft doesn't wobble back and forth uh, too much or it's not too tight. You want a little bit of play in there, but not too much. Now, you can see how well the uh, gears spin on that shaft now. I mean, they're just, they're, they're just like magic compared to what they were before. So, so um, now I'm, I'm putting in the bushings for the uh, new axle. I give you those new axles. Uh, they give you the new axle bushings and... Um, the axle itself and the axle has uh, some kind of anodized coating on it so it's not so prone to rusting so um, if you just follow the instructions you can um, um, slide all the parts on here I'm just uh, putting the wheel on just to make sure I have it in the right hole you can see there's two sets of holes and um, I, I couldn't remember which ones I took it out I checked them and, and I could see where the paint was worn so uh, got them in the right holes first thing you do is slide a couple of these uh, washers on and then uh, I'm going to slide the gears on in the order that they go. And you can see I've got them on here. So the gear, first gear goes on. Then there's three washers. And then the second gear goes on. And then uh, one washer. And you use some of that um, uh, Aeroshell 22 grease on that. So um, once you get everything in, uh, slide the axle over. Sl slip the key into the keyway and then um, slide that uh, right hand gear over the key and then once you get everything lined up you, you snap these C clips on right on the inside of the bushing and that um, holds your space um, properly to keep your axle centered um, in the guts there. Now we slide our C clip onto the axle uh, right up against that gear and just uh, slide it on and that'll keep your, your guts centered up. So really, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the kit. You can see the, the gears moving around fine. They roll nice and smoothly. Uh, that's just a shot of the old speed shaft with the damage from the bearings. Um, and here, I'm just uh, giving the friction disc a little uh, buffing. I use a little bit of sandpaper on it just to um, take that center piece off and just um, soften the disc up so it grabs a little bit better. I usually run them on the belt grinder for a second, but uh, forgot this one. Thanks for watching. Leave feedback if you have any. Appreciate it.